Welcome back to Caroline's Closet, guys. If you watched the last uh, video for my Via Trading um, playlist, my last episode, I had a little bit of a disappointment with some items that were supposed to be on my palette that I didn't get. So I did end up reaching out to my salesperson, and I did get a response. Uh, here's a quick recap for those of you that don't want to go back and watch the whole video so you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so a quick refresher. Uh, what I was supposed to get on the manifest, Circulon cookware set, 11 piece, quantity six, approximate retail value, $299.99. My price per each one is $60.52. I'm supposed to have six of those. What I got was six individual pans, four of which have lids, so that makes 10 total pieces. Now each pan is a different size, different style, so it's very obvious that it was one set that was returned to Macy's or uh, pulled from maybe shelf display or something, and it is missing one piece, so I have 10 pieces of one set, but what they did was tag each individual piece with their damage tag um, and scanned each individual pan as if it was an entire set. So when Macy's scanned these items and sent them back on the palette to be a trading, they were claiming that there were six sets. And I'm guessing it was just an honest error by whoever was tagging them. They knew what it was a part of had the tags for that part, and put an individual one on each piece. So I get the error there. But then they have other items, like this set, that was one full set. And I don't even think this particular set is missing any pieces. But before they added it to the palette, they put all of these items in one bag and put the tag on the outside of the bag which is how I'm guessing they're supposed to do it. So this was um, one of my top reasons for purchasing uh, the palette. Without these and the five Dysons I was supposed to get, which I got these four Dysons, the Dyson Big Ball Canister Vacuums, but I did not get the Dyson V6 Cord Free Vacuum, and it was completely missing. So essentially, these top few items here that are over the $200, those are pretty much the reason I picked this palette. I looked up every single item, um, probably every single item down to about the $30 items before I selected the palette just to see what the resale value is. I did not go through individually all the $19.99s and $9.99s and smaller ticket items um, in advance. But I did look up these high-end items. And these particular Circulon cookware sets, if they were new um, and in decent condition, the sets were selling for pretty close to full retail and I was able to sell them on Amazon. So this was a huge chunk of the profit that I intended to make off of these pallets. Okay, so I don't like to complain. I really don't. I don't send back meals in restaurants unless it's something god-awful unedible that there's no possible way I can eat and I'm starving. And I just, I don't like being that person. I'm Call me a pushover, I don't know. I'd rather just kind of accept certain, you know, aspects of life that other people may not accept. And I'm more than understanding about the fact that customer return palettes, you don't know what you're gonna get. If this had been an unmanifested palette, I couldn't say anything, because obviously I wouldn't have even known that I was supposed to have six of these sets and the Dyson vacuum. Um, if the items were there, if I had six sets of pans and each one was missing five of the 11 pieces, but you know, I had the boxes and they were half empty, I wouldn't have said anything. I would have been a little bummed, but I wouldn't have said anything because that's part of the whole palette process. That's what you can expect. Uh, I still haven't found the Dyson tag. 
I'm assuming that one of those little receipt tags is attached to something. I thought maybe there'd be like the handle to a vacuum or some small part or piece or something among all of my random parts and pieces that I'm not sure what they go to. But I've kind of pulled everything out of the boxes and looked at the tags just to see if there was anything that they maybe thought was a part of a vacuum and they tagged it that way. And I haven't found that little tag yet. So I don't know if that, um, maybe they scanned it and because those particular Dysons are in like this long, um, I know what type of box they come in. So maybe they had scanned it and then they set that box aside because they wanted to put it on the top of a pallet or find the best way to fit it. And then it didn't end up making it on the pallets. I don't know. I have yet to find that Dyson. Um, and even if just the Dyson was missing and I had the six other, there is room for error. There are discrepancies. You can expect that maybe something will be on the manifest that you don't get, or maybe you get something that's not on the manifest that's mistagged. Um, I haven't found, so I'm expecting to find the tag somewhere, but I haven't found it yet. But either one of those issues, I could have been okay with and just moved on and that's life. But having so much of the highest priced items on the palette just be non-existent and um, the cookware, the error with that is just unacceptable to scan six individual pieces of one set and call them each their own set. Uh, and so I was kind of expecting them to say, well, yeah, you got six sets. They're just all missing the 10 other pieces. Um, so I emailed my sales rep and I'm going to go ahead and read the first email I got back, and I will say in advance, I was a little upset with the first email I got back, but then I responded again. May have been a little bit snarky in my response. I don't know. I guess it depends on what tone of voice you, she read it in in her head. But then she called, and I did get a resolution. So the very first response after I explained the situation, and I sent pictures of the six pieces with their individual tags on them and uh, explained it. She said, thank you for your detailed feedback. I'm very sorry you were disappointed with this order. Working with liquidation products is not for everyone. And what you described here is quite usual and within the normal range of expectations when working with liquidation customer returns. Yes, there is incomplete sets or broken products. It is to be expected in any customer returns palette. We are very transparent about the manifest being an indication, but not a guarantee and that and that discrepancies happen. Same for the working condition of the products. We always sell our, pro our pallets as is, no guarantee, no returns. But that is why you buy those products for a small percentage of the wholesale price. It is a trade-off, low prices, but with risks involved. Some pallets will be very profitable, some others not so much. The key to working with liquidation goods is to buy at low prices and see the profit you can make on the whole load and on repeated purchases. But it requires some work and creativity sometimes to make the most of your investment. Maybe shelf pull condition would work better for your business or overstock merchandise. It seems like customer returns are not satisfactory for you. So I hope I can find something that meets your expectations. Here is a link to our shelf, shelf pulls, master cases, and overstock items. Yeah, so I thought I was clear in my explanation and I did say, you know, very politely and very clear that I understand that condition is not guaranteed and blah, blah, blah. But I went with the fully manifested palette this time because I was disappointed with the unmanifested items and I wanted to try both. and. You know, and I, I could get another unmanifested palette and be super excited with it. You never know. But I just, I felt very justified in my being disappointed with this. <laughs> this seemed like it was a little excessive in an error. I have piles and piles upon broken stuff. I showed them off in the videos and piles of stuff that I still haven't figured out what they are or what they go with or pieced together. I understand there's work involved in this. But I didn't understand that the manifest could tell me that there's $1,800 worth of an item and it's completely not there. If I got $1,800 worth of an item and it was all trashed, I might cry a little inside. But as long as the item was there, as long as there had been that chance that that profit could have been made, I would understand that was the risk I took. 
So I did write back and, and I, I, I don't know if I, my response is on here. Okay, so this was my response. Thank you for your message. It's not the condition of items or missing parts to items that bothered me, but the complete missing items themselves, items that were on the manifest but not on the pallets. Should that be expected this often as well? For seven of the highest value items to not even be included seems a little much. Actually six, I'll give credit for one of the six sets of pans. But one incomplete set would not upset. Six incomplete sets would not upset me. But one incomplete set and five non-existent $300 sets and the non-existent vacuum bother me greatly, considering that's a huge chunk of the value in the pallets. I knew condition issues would exist. I have a lot of those too but thought if I was getting a 100% manifested palette, I would at least receive the items, even if destroyed, damaged, missing parts, etc. I assumed the items would at least be there. Is that not a reasonable assumption? So I don't know. I guess it depends on what tone of voice you want to read my response in, but that's what I sent back. And then she called me almost immediately. I didn't answer the phone the first time I was uh, back in the back room digging out something to ship out. And I heard the phone and I heard my phone say, you have an unknown call. So I didn't rush in here to see what it was. Um, but then I came back to my desk, realized it had been her that called and the phone rang immediately after it was her again. So I did chat with her. She's super sweet, super polite. I love her accent. Uh, but, and she, she said she did understand and they were going to work something out and she was going to refund me my cost for five of the sets of, of pans that weren't there and the Dyson. So um, my cost, again, it was about $60. Um, I don't know if that's picking up clearly. Yeah. So my cost for each of the Circulon sets was $60.52 and for the Dyson, $61.20. So she's refunding me essentially about $360 uh, that will be given to me as a credit towards my next purchase. I wasn't going to purchase any more pallets until at least July, um, maybe even August. I want to pay off some stuff that I owe money on and get as much of this stuff out the door before I make another big investment like that. Now, if all of this stuff sells within two weeks and I have $6,000 back in my pocket, then yeah, I'm going to order some more pallets. But um, I did look through the site just to see what small priced items they had that maybe there's something I can get for the $360. So when I get the credit, I'm either going to order, there's a box of high-end shelf pull clothing, 75 pieces, and I think it was like $280 plus shipping. So it came, it came to about $340, I think, for 75 pieces of clothing from high-end department stores or um, a makeup, assorted makeup case. And you have to buy it by the brand. So I think the Maybelline one that I looked at came to the closest to the, th like I was just trying to figure out which one would come to the closest of the credit so that I can uh, use it all up without going too much over or, you know, use most of it up in one purchase. And I think there was an option between Revlon, Maybelline, L'Oreal, um, NYX. There's a couple. L'Oreal would probably be my preference, but I think that one went a little over the um, credit and I wanted to try to stick within the limits. So I'm debating. I think it's either going to be the Maybelline uh, assorted cosmetics palette, which is 250 pieces. So I might bought a buck 50 each probably with the shipping and everything or the 75 pieces of clothing. Um, for that, I'd be almost at about $4 with the shipping, including included, but it's all shelf pulls. So, you know, most of it should have the tags on it probably has clearance stickers on it. Um, and I don't know, clothing to me seems like 75 pieces of nice clothing I could probably make more in profit with than 250 pieces of makeup, assuming I'm paying the same price for them. Um, clothing's what I'm normally, normally used to, but I would like. I had added some makeup palettes before just to test the 
the price and the freight and see and I decided to hold off and uh, try them later so I've been wanting to try one of the makeup loads um, and the makeup will be easier to list than the clothing so I don't know I'm debating 75 pieces of clothing or 250 pieces of makeup is essentially my options that I'm going to purchase with my credit once the credit hits my account um, but I am very appreciative of that I don't want them to feel like I'm going to complain every time I get a shipment because I do understand, I do, I do know that I'm not going to expect perfect merchandise. I, so I, I feel like such a whiner. I don't want to be a whiner. But I wanted to whine, so I did, and I've got a credit. Um, but yeah, I mean, am I not? Wouldn't you be a little ticked too? I. I feel justified in the complaint, even with unexpected, not knowing what you're supposed to get, uh, not knowing what condition you're going to get it in. I feel justified in the complaint that it was almost an eighth. So all the items missing together, the estimated retail value or original retail value, it's around $2,000. And the total retail value estimated for the whole palettes was 14000 something. So we're talking about one seventh, one seventh of the retail value estimated for the whole group was completely missing from the palette. So I do feel very justified in, um, in complaining and I'm happy with the credit, the $360 back that reduces my investment quite a bit and allows me more room to make profit on the stuff that I did get. But it does subtract almost a thousand dollars of potential profit from what I could get from the palettes because those items were the ones that had the most potential in them uh, per piece. So, oh, and one of the other reasons uh, that the six of those excited me was because when you have six of something like that, it's a lot more likely to be a shelf pull or overstock or you know. Um, discontinued or something so they just pull it and send it back to liquidate it then customer returns because what's the likelihood that six random people ordered these um six these 11 piece circulon sets high end and then all of them just randomly decided to return them so when you get six of something like that you're kind of a little more likely that you're gonna get stuff in good uh, new condition too so that really did help me in deciding what palette I wanted to pick and it didn't end up being the case but I did get a resolution I'm happy with the resolution I appreciate those of you that commented and encouraged me to go ahead and contact them and uh, reach out about it so I did and that's what happened and thank you all for watching I will be back in a week or two to give you an update on um, once I have everything listed and processed what has sold already and what uh, I really think I'm going to make out of these items. So I hope everybody has a great rest of the week. I have some work to do, so I'm going to get back at it. Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet, and I will see you again soon. Bye, guys.